Lorraine Metcalf was on welfare last year. Now she lives in a neighborhood of $150,000 homes. Her daughter does too. No, they didn't win at bingo. They earned it the new fashioned way. That looks like a lot. Their Indian tribe, a tiny band called the Celettes, does market studies to see what will sell, then bankrolls new businesses. I think two jellies is too much. Unemployment is well below the national average. The tribe has been doing a lot of things right. Last year, it made four times what it spent. And in this recession, it's doing even better. Yet there are no handouts. The money is invested. The interest they earned has built a new medical clinic and 54 new homes. The Celettes used to own half the Oregon coast, 1.2 million acres. But so much of that was sold or taken away, the federal government abolished the tribe in 1956. There's no paper, no government that can tell me that I'm not an Indian because I am. I was born that way and I will die that way. Like others, Lorraine had to move away, but she came back to reclaim her heritage. The only thing that we had left was our graveyard, and I guess just because they couldn't dig us up and throw us out of there. That cemetery helped them begin again. There was enough extra land to build those new houses and offer them cheaply to young families who wanted to come home. So many did, the government returned their tribal status. But there are not enough jobs in this wilderness. So it's unanimous. The elders tried something drastic. It takes a lot of guts to stand before your membership and say, we invested money in the stock market. But it worked, big time. Does this look like money? Last year, those investments earned $2 million. So who remembers what these were used for? Money. The Stilettes are determined not to lose what they struggled so hard to regain. Oh, I love that honey smoke. Lorraine promised to go back to school, part of the contract she signed for her new job. Out of five. Eventually, the Indians will take over these businesses from the experts they hired to manage them. My grandfather, the great spirit, he knew that we would be back someday, that we would need a place to stay, and he saved it, saved it for us. You know, they'll build more housing, and there will be more Indians here, and uh, it'll be good. Grandfather will smile. Some say he's already grinning. She said she was really nice, so. Bob Dotson, NBC News, in Oregon, on the Celettes Indian Reservation.